you doing? Hi, just um, lovely to you? meet you. I'm Zal from The Upcoming. Ah, uh, thank so, you. So, do you think your background helped with the, the role of Sean the Sheen? Oh, definitely. I'm a huge fan of uh, silent comedy. Uh, going back to, obviously, Lauren Hardy, Chaplin, Keaton, Harold Lloyd. I used to watch all of those movies. So, I think because this is, in a way, a silent comedy, um, I brought some of those uh, things that I've learned to the table with Sean's character. But as well as that, a bit like Charlie Chaplin films, I think you, you have the kind of poignancy, you have the, you know, the sadder moments as well with that lovely balance. And I think that's uh, one of the things that Ardman is so clever at, that kind of lovely balance. Um, and it's a great storyline, this as well, about, you know, aliens visiting and, yeah, can't, you can't lose. It's really exciting to have a female character in the role of... Oh, amazing, yeah. Lula is, and what a wonderful, uh, such a beautiful character. And I think when I started seeing the, um, you know, the first rushes uh, that I was voicing to, I was thinking, wow, this character is so adorable and, uh, you know, and warm. And again, that's what I've been a good at, creating. The storylines are one thing, but the characters, I think, are the strong element of it. And I think they really nailed it with Lula. And then the wonderful thing about Arvian is the slapstick comedy. The way they transfer that, you know, into animation is just, I, I don't know how they do it. It's incredible. And it's a great honor for me to uh, play Sean with me. It's my, uh, be voicing the character now for... No, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh. Very, very exciting. I think Sean is, he's a very happy, he loves everyone, he wants to help people. He does get it wrong and he learns through his mistakes. I think that's a lot <laughs> in my world too. Um, but also my background is slapstick comedy and I think Sean's about that. You know, he he's a very visual character and as you know, there's no dialogue in the film. It's extraordinary really that uh, you have an 88 minute film with uh, not one word in it and you still cap, you know hold the audience there both young and old, so that's a real testament to Ardman, that's what they're good at. Um, so yeah, um, I think we, we are very similar, and, and Ardman are great, because once I've done my voicing, um, my bits, they say, oh, Justin, do a freestyle version, and I can just throw in my ideas as well. So um, yeah, it's it, you, you just, it's like putting on a pair of slippers, you could have become the character, um, and yeah, it's, it's great. A pair of short <laughs> <laughs> yes, and lots of <laughs> <laughs> amazing. I mean, the team at Ardman, I mean, they're the heroes. I, I do the kind of icing on the cake bit, this, that's the easy bit. But the heroes are the set builders, the prop builders. First of all, I remember when I got past to Sean, and I got a call from Ardman, and they said, uh, can I speak to Sean? And I went, oh, it's Justin. And they went, no, uh, Sean, we'd like you to be the voice of Sean. And it was a huge honor, because I grew up with watching uh, more other uh, uh, Ardman uh, creations, so I thought one day I'd love to do voice work for them. And um, I remember I was given a Sean badge years ago when I was much younger. And uh, here we are, and I'm, I'm now voicing Sean the Sheep. And I'm, yeah, it's a bit of a dream, really. Sean, it, I mean, he's, he's, he just wants to help people. He gets things wrong. My background is slapstick comedy, so that really counts. I used to, as a child, watch endless uh, reels of Lauren Hardy, Chaplin, Keaton. And so I think Sean, it's definitely holding a flag there and a homage to slapstick silent comedy and I think it's it's a testament to the team the crew here the animators and the, the entire you know, team at Arvin that they can hold an audience for 88 minutes without one word dialogue and that's incredible and but still get that wonderful reaction uh, particularly the, you know, the comedy routines it's hard enough doing them live action in, with one of my characters say with Mr. Tumble uh, how they animate them and still make them beautifully timed because that's what slapstick is it's all timing. And uh, I was taught by Jack Tripp. Um, I was very lucky to do all of the falls and the double takes. And I try and put a bit of that into Sean's voice. He's cheeky, he's happy, he, want, he's, he, you know, he wants to help people. He does get things wrong, and but they love him. And, uh, you know, it's, yeah, that's how I approach it. <laughs> I think there's a lovely uh, sequence of nods to very famous uh, sci-fi films. And I think there's some lovely little kind of homages to there. There's a wonderful relationship between Lula, the new character that comes in, and Sean, you know, looks after her, her takes her, her under his wing. Um, and then, of course, the farmer who's trying to kind of uh, capitalise in the whole kind of sci-fi thing, starting his own, you know, homegrown theme park.